Hey, what's up everyone? This is going to be your one stop for various things happening in the world around us, from strange things to weather phenomenon, you name it. First, I'd like to say that, oh my goodness, my weather prediction, back from August, back from July and August, every month that I predicted from that date in August has come true. You can check that out. There's proof it came true. Everything of every date that popped into my mind from August, September, October, November, and now December has come true. So we'll see if my January and February prediction comes true. All right, it's just what I was given. All the major brush fires in Australia have turned New Zealand's ice glaciers pink. And they're pretty baffled about this, they say. A giant Greenland lake has disappeared. They say it disappeared within hours, and no one has an explanation of why. Leaving these giant fractures in the ground. This is the second time this month, well, within a month, 56 hungry polar bears have invaded this village in Russia. The San Andreas Fault is linked to a Cascadia subduction zone, and earthquakes along that area could trigger the opening up of the subduction zones across the entire west coast. Where's this image from, you might ask? Nope, it's not from a snow-prone area of the Rockies or out in Denver, Colorado. This is snow-covered land in Hawaii. They received several inches of snow at the Mauna Loa Volcano Summit. And they're not the only ones dealing with snow. The Middle East, Russia, all across the United States, the many European countries, and now even Australia dealing with their own snow on the first day of their summer. And there have been multiple attacks upon U.S. sailors and upon... Naval air facilities. And according to the studies, microplastics are in our oceans. They're in the air. They're in the water. They're in the rain. They're in the animals. And they are even in our poop. These microplastics are everywhere. And the Fukushima liquidators are real. The robotic equipment failed at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, and they actually sent four individuals up there to finish the job. And that Thanksgiving bombogenesis bomb cyclone that you'll see right here, that also I talked about and predicted as well, set record amounts of waves. It set two different records, to be exact. For the highest waves of 75 feet hitting the coast of California, and the lowest pressure ever, in California. And these were those winter storm warnings that took place. Up to four to eight inches of snow were expected in the areas. Windy, freezing rain, and snow conditions were expected to be continuing with 50 mile per hour wind gusts. California receiving hurricane like winds of up to 120 miles per hour. For the past several days, they've been bombarded with this. And over in India, India's new pollution problem is out of control. Something I wouldn't do. Some individuals in India chose to go for a swim in the toxic pollution foam. Toxic white foam engulfed the marina beach as beachgoers in Chennai swam in the toxic foam. And this was that second winter storm that hit California just two days ago. This is the map of what the Mississippi River could reek of devastation on the United States, according to a new survey, the projection of area of destruction by water between 2020 and 2025. We'll see how that goes. Now, they call this a zombie frog process, but they said these frogs here freeze themselves and then thaw themselves out so they continue the cycle of life and do not die. And that's how the wood frogs survive these frigid winter temperatures. Also, record amounts of cases of a flu-like illness, an unknown illness, is spreading through the state of Tennessee right now in record amounts. Another large asteroid was a near miss. It flew by us this past week, and it was just discovered a week before. It narrowly missed us. Loud booms were reported out of near Pilgrim, Massachusetts. 
and it was discovered that a 2.1, a rare 2.1 earthquake at that took place in the state of Massachusetts just three days ago at the Pilgrim Nuclear Power Station. So give your thoughts on that. Once again this year, weather event extremes have become the new normal. From images you see on the left of the deadly typhoon Kamiri hitting the Philippines to images on the right that you see of the deadly out-of-control fires in Australia. These things have sadly become the new norm, especially this year once again. And these recent rises in earthquakes and small tremors as well in California, scientists have discovered have to do with this newly discovered Cascadia fault zone and might even have a connection with a big Cascadia earthquake. And just as we suspected, now I've seen this image before. I feel like I've seen this. So this is either an ME or they have redone this image because I remember them talking about how it looked like a dragon. Weaponized lightning is now a thing. It's official that weaponized lightning killed five individuals in Zambia. This particular weaponized lightning strike killed five football players. And a massive monster, 100-foot sinkhole as they're calling it, appeared out of nowhere and swallowed up three individuals, which are still missing, and several objects in China, in the area of Guangzhou. And if this, were, if this volcano were to erupt violently, the greater Washington area, the larger part of Seattle, would be destroyed by hot lava immediately. And they're looking into the fact that the people could be drowned by a sea of hot lava. So it wasn't really so great to build around a volcano. And there's been a swarm of earthquakes around Mount Rainier. This was that one foot of snow on the first day of summer in Australia. This was the image of that double-barreled atmospheric river hitting California. This is a recap from six days ago. This is out of Texas. Giant spider kills a bat. Snowmageddon. Snow in Hawaii, California, Europe, Japan, Canada, China, Russia, and many other places from the west to the east coast of the United States. This was that record-setting bomb cyclone image, at least that's what they stated, with over 100 mile per hour winds that were like a hurricane on the west coast back from November 27, 2019. It was the Thanksgiving monster. And then we had major multiple water receding events happening around this world back in late November. And once again, to recap, the latest snow event in Hawaii. So there is no shortage of strange things happening in the world around us and newsworthy, newsworthy things happening in the world around us. Thank you for watching this video. My links are below if you'd like to show support. It would help out a lot. I love you all. And I look forward to speaking with all of you. Stay aware. Keep your eyes open. And I'll speak with all of you again as soon as possible. Signing out.